Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for you who don't know me, my name is Boka. And for you today, I did this soft glam look. This look is very easy to be done and it's also very universal. You can go to work, you can go out, it's really for every day and night. But before we start doing makeup, I wanna wish you all good health. Stay safe, stay, stay in your house, take care of yourself, take care of your loved ones. This is very hard and crazy time, but it's not gonna last forever. And you're gonna get out from this madness much stronger. Find something to do in your house. You can start your spring cleaning now. Stay strong and let's do makeup. All right, we're gonna start. So I already did my eyebrows off the camera and for that I used Browsing Pro Palette by Benefit. This palette is incredible. They have two of these. This is the darker version. This is medium deep and the other one is light. They're incredible. For my primer today, I'm gonna be using Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Primer. And I'm just gonna apply it with my fingers. And for my foundation today, I'm gonna be using this MAC Pro palette. And this palette right now I'm gonna use as a foundation. I'm gonna uh, do some uh, color correcting with this palette and also contours. And with this like a little bit peachy shade, I'm gonna put it under my eyes. And I'm gonna use my fingers a little bit. And peachy color covers all the blue undertone. So if you have dark circles, peachy color concealer is gonna help. Now I'm using this color. Here's my base foundation color. And under my eyes, I'm gonna put the lightest color. And for that, I'm gonna be using Morphe brush. It doesn't say what number it is. MAC Pro, they have contests every month on Instagram. They have really nice giveaways. And I've been entering every month, but I was not lucky. I never won anything. So I would really like to win something. When you're lighting it up, you want to light it up like a V in the middle of your face. And these palettes, they last very long time because you're using just a little bit of a product. It's really great coverage. And they're also good for every skin type. After you're done highlighting V area, you should go with the brush you've been using for the base color and just a little bit smooth out the edges between these two shades because you want that transition to be as seamless as possible. And I'm gonna contour with the darkest color in the palette and I'm gonna use the same brush. And when you're contouring, when you uh, apply the darker color, you want to blend it out towards up because the whole point of contouring is like to lift cheekbones. And that's going to give you that effect. And of course, forehead. And you want to make sure that you blend out everything nicely into a hairline. Matte Pro Foundations, they look so natural on the skin. And I'm going to set everything with Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm never using too much product when I'm setting everything. Just a little bit. And I always step it out. Because if you start dragging it around, the liquid product you have under or stick foundations, they're just gonna start moving around. So you wanna keep them where you put them earlier. I usually don't bake because mostly there is no need for that and my skin is super dry. So if I leave powder that long, it just dries out my skin and it doesn't look good after. For my blush today, I'm gonna be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio, Peachy Love. And I'm gonna mix all of these colors. I'm gonna be using blush brush.
for my bronzer, I'm going to be using Pour Cosmetics Crystal Clear Highlight and Bronzer Palette. And again, I'm going to mix all these uh, bronzer shades. And for that, I'm going to be using more 515 brush. I always put bronzer everywhere I put dark uh, contours. And I'm gonna set everything with Urban Decay All Nighter. Urban Decay definitely has the best stay sprays. And we're gonna start eyes now. So for the eyeshadows today, I'm gonna be using Morph 15D Day Slayer Palette. This palette is really nice, it has all these natural shades, earth colors, which I love. And I'm gonna uh, go to shade natural right here and define my crease with a Morph blending brush. With a real technique brow highlighting brush, I'm gonna go to shade epic which is a little bit darker than the color I was using to define my crease and I'm gonna do my under eye and just to add a little bit of like smoky effect and to make my lashes look thicker I'm gonna use uh, L'Oreal black eyeliner and I'm gonna go inside of my lash line on my top lashes and the way how to do that, you just need to lift the lid a little bit and go inside with the eyeliner. This little thing makes such a huge difference, it's crazy. And I'm gonna do my waterline with the same eyeliner too. And finally, I'm gonna put hourglass glitter eyeshadow on the center of my lid and I'm just gonna apply it with my finger. This is shade Ray. I'm obsessed with these eyeshadows. They are so easy to use. I really do recommend them to everybody. They're the best. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes with the Tarte Lash Curler and apply mascara. My lashes are super small, so it's very important for me to curl them at least. And for mascara, I'm gonna be using Try the Liquid Extension Mascara. This look is so beautiful, but so easy to be done, it's crazy. And today for my lipstick, I'm going to be using two colors because I want to make like ombre lip. So the first darker color I'm going to be using is Anastasia Beverly Hills shade Ashton. And the second lipstick, the one I'm going to have in the center of my lips, it's Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin. And with the brush, I'm just gonna even it out. Ombre lips gives you a fact of much fuller lips. And for my highlight today, I'm gonna be using Space Case Cosmetics, seen from Space 1B. This is a creamy highlight, and I'm gonna apply it with my fingers. And the reason I'm applying this highlight is because this could be a, my base for a regular powder highlight. If you put cream highlight and powder highlight, they stay much longer. Also, with a flat brush, I'm gonna apply this highlight under my eyebrow. And the next highlight I'm going to be using is Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit Shade Butterscotch. And I'm just going to apply on the top of a cream highlight I already used. And this is it. This is the finished look. This is one of my favorite looks. It's very simple to be done and it's also very universal. You can do wherever with this look. You can go shopping, you can go to work, you can go to wedding, you can do literally forever. 
Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for my channel and give me a thumbs up and maybe share this video. I'm gonna see you soon again. Until then, please stay healthy, stay safe, and take care of yourself and people you love. Bye.